Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel and in this video I'll tell you about the next constraint, coincident constraint in FreeCAD. In one of the previous videos I discussed symmetry constraint. In this video I will tell you about coincident constraint. In this series of videos I want to discuss the available constraints in the sketcher and in each video I will cover one constraint. I will place these videos in a playlist and you will find a link to the playlist in the description of this video. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content. And if you'd like to support my work and treat me to a virtual coffee, you can find all the details in the description below. Thank you for your support. Now I will move on to the sketch as the constraints are found in the sketcher. These are geometry constraints and they define relationships between geometries. When it comes to coincident constraint, in this case we can define this constraint between two points or between a point and some geometry. So I will create a rectangle here. For now I will place this rectangle anywhere. I right click to cancel the rectangle drawing command. This rectangle doesn't have a specific location in the coordinate system and doesn't have specified dimensions. As for specifying dimensions we can simply set them by selecting a line, pressing the D key and entering the appropriate dimension value. The dimensioning command is active. I click on the next line and here I enter the dimension. I right click to cancel this and at this point the rectangle has specified dimensions but it doesn't have a specified position relative to the origin of the coordinate system. And it is this position that we can determine using constraints or dimensions which are also a kind of constraint. And here in this case we can place the rectangle in such a way that the corner of the rectangle is constrained to the origin point of the coordinate system and this is exactly what we can do using the coincident constraint. For this purpose we select two points and choose the coincident constraint. Now the rectangle has specified dimensions and a specific position relative to the origin of the coordinate system. We have simply constrained the corner of the rectangle to the origin point of the coordinate system and here we solved it using the coincident constraint. Now if I select the line drawing tool I can take advantage of automatic constraints and automatically constrain the point of the line to the corner of the rectangle. If I click on the corner of the rectangle now one point of the line will be constrained to this corner. I will now click the right mouse button to cancel the line drawing command. Note that this line is attached to the rectangle. I cannot change the position of this line point because the coincident constraint has been applied here. This constraint was applied automatically and we cannot move this line anymore. We can change the length of this line, we can move this line within certain limits but we cannot change the position of this point. Now I'll draw an arbitrary line. Ok, I right click to cancel this command and such a constraint can be applied manually. I select this point, select this point and choose the coincident constraint. And now the point of the line is constrained to this corner of the rectangle. Just like with the first line, we cannot change the position of this line point. We can change the length of this line and move this line to some extent but this point is already constrained to the corner of the rectangle. Now I will create another line. As for the coincident constraint, this constraint also works between a point and a line. We can constrain this point to the line. In this case, I will constrain it to the side of the rectangle. I selected the point, selected the side of the rectangle and chose the coincident constraint. And now this point is constrained to this line. I can change the position of this point along this line but in this case I can also go beyond this line. Here, this constraint works in such a way that if we apply a point to line coincident constraint, the line is treated as infinite and we can move this point along this line. I can create another line and here for example if I hover over this line a coincident constraint will be applied automatically. Ok, I right click to cancel that. Here as you can see a constraint symbol appeared and I can move the point of the newly created line along this line. In the case of the constraint this line is treated as infinitely long and we can simply move this point along this line. And the coincident constraint although it is simple to use is often an essential constraint in sketches. It greatly facilitates creating geometries. For example, now I'll draw a circle. 
I will draw a circle anywhere, and we can for example constrain the center of the circle to the corner of the rectangle. I selected these two points, chose the coincident constraint, and now these two geometries are constrained. In a similar way, we can apply this constraint automatically. I selected the circle drawing tool, hover over the endpoint of this line, and now the center of the circle is constrained to this line. When I change the position of the line, the center of the circle remains attached to this line. And as I mentioned, this constraint is simple to use, but in many cases, it is an essential constraint for creating a correct sketch. And we will end this video here. Please check out other videos on this channel and subscribe to this channel.